Hello Lane's End. I'm going to talk about the light bulb trick today. So just like the bright light behind me, light bulb moments, can you see Drew's thought bubbles? They've got light bubbles in them. Light bulb moments are when you have those sudden, wow, bright ideas when you've come up with something really creative or a really good solution to a problem. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about this and how you can help your mind have some fantastic light bulb thinking moments. And there are two parts to this trick. Part number one, if your brain is full of some unhelpful thoughts or some unhelpful feelings, it means that your brain is a little bit full up and it blocks the helpful thoughts and the good ideas that you want it to have, okay? So let's pretend, I've got some pieces of paper, let's pretend that the pieces of paper are the unhelpful thoughts and feelings and let's just practice shrinking those and throwing them away, okay? So we're pretending that we're working on something and we're trying to come up with a really good idea and we're finding it a bit tricky. So we're going to get rid of those thoughts and feelings. So let's pretend that the first piece of paper is, hmm, what about that feeling when you think, oh, I don't think I'm ever, ever, ever going to come up with a solution for this. Oh, that's not going to help us, is it? Let's scrunch it up, scrunch, 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 and throw it away. Okay, I think Honey's gone to get rid of that one for us. What about the unhelpful feeling when you start to look at all your friends who are coming up with really good ideas and you start to feel a little bit worried inside and you start to think, oh, everybody else can do this and I can't, oh, oh, oh. Well, that's stopping your helpful thoughts. So let's shrink that one up and throw it away. Okay, ready, throw it with me. It's gone, good. Right, next one. What about, oh, what about the unhelpful thought if you were thinking, oh, I don't see the point in this at all. I'm getting really frustrated now, that kind of cross feeling inside because you've tried and you've tried and you've tried and you're not quite getting that good idea yet. So you're starting to feel a bit frustrated, a little bit cross, maybe a little bit angry, but that's blocking your good ideas. So quick, let's try and shrink it together and throw it away. Okay, well done. That was really good practicing of losing or shrinking those unhelpful thoughts and unhelpful feelings. Once you've done your best to lose those, the next part of the trick, number two, is to practice some things that help you stay calm. So what could we do? Let's have a look at some of the trick box tricks. So we've practiced breathing in and out colour before, so that can really help free up your mind to come up with some really good ideas. Or we've practiced floating cloud before. That's another really good one if you want to clear your mind. So then it's got space for lots of creative problem solving. And this trick, light bulb trick says, focus on the solution, focus on all the good creative ideas you've got and not on the problem. So lose the thoughts that aren't helpful, believe that you can do it and get ready to think about all the creative ideas that you've got you need to relax. Look, Drew's really relaxed in this picture as well. You could take a break. Sometimes what you need to do is not give up, but just have a little rest and then come back to it. And sometimes those ideas come. Or if you don't need to solve your challenge on that day, you could, you could sleep on it, couldn't you? You could have a rest, let your brain rest, let it think while you're sleeping, and then you might wake up and have that really good light bulb idea. So some ideas of light bulb thinking are, you know, if you've been trying to think of something for a long time, like at the moment, you might be thinking of, oh, what can I do for somebody that's really special for them for Christmas? And you've thought, 
and you've thought and you've thought and then all of a sudden you go, yep, yeah, I've got it. I know what it is now. I know what I'm going to do. That's a light bulb moment. Or what about, oh, what about if you're in assembly and Mr. Andre or Miss Hopkinson, Mrs. Napier, uh, Mrs. Sice, what if they tell you a story or they show you something that really, really inspires you and you think, wow, I didn't think of it like that before. Now I realise something else is possible that I hadn't thought of before. That's another example of a light bulb moment. Ooh, can I think of another example? Oh yeah, what about, this is realisation, so what about if you were doing something in school and you did it? So you might have done some spellings or you might have done a maths problem or you might have written a fantastic piece of writing or done the best piece of art you've ever done and all of a sudden you have that thought where you think, say it was the maths one, you think, Aha, I understand now. I know now why it was so important to practice my times tables because now I can see that actually I needed that to do my maths problems today. I get it now. I understand why that's important. So you've got the, oh yes, I've got my idea. You've got the, wow, I never thought of it like that before. And you've got the, ah, I see now, I understand that. And they're just different examples of light bulb thinking. So just like that bright light behind me, please, please, please enjoy having your creative thoughts. Try and lose the unhelpful ones because you are all amazing learners and just share your light bulb moments because they're really exciting. Okay, bye Lane's End. Bye bye.